Close your mouth and listen up. Yeah. Cause we about to turn it up. Right. Speaking for too heavy. And I'll speak for myself, Brandon Keister. Woo. You're listening to our podcast. Ah. Come and get a front row seat at the bleachers. Get him. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another uh, uh, another. Those are it's a sponsor we have. It's a natural a blanket and some nugs you can purchase at your local Walmart. But today's show, we have a a great guest, a friend of mine, and also a coworker. But before anything, uh, we're going to take it to our sponsors. Ladies, are you tired of your husband struggling to take off your bra when the moment strikes? Does it kill the mood? Well, let's unlock this problem once and for all with Ready Bra. How does it work, guys? Place your thumbprint on the back of the bra and using nanotechnology automatically reads your thumbprint. Are you ready for a smoother experience? Type in our promotional code Keister into Heavy for 30% off with Ready Bra. Ready Bra. That's a great product. I I actually, I bought one for my wife uh, a couple of weeks ago. It works out pretty well, man. The only problem about it, man, is that it actually, often you have to, to plug it into your computer to update it. It sucks ass. But besides that, no big deal. But no issues in the middle. No issues besides that, yeah. No one's getting electrocuted or anything like that. Um, but I wanted to introduce my, our guest today. Uh, Mr. Joshua Wolford is in the his house, if I can say here. Um, we are uh, live with him, a friend who I can say is myself. We are... Almost one, no homo. And um, he's going to introduce himself, tell you a little about himself, not too much. Um, but he, just enough. Just enough to where we all can embrace Joshua Wolford. Hello, everybody. This is Joshua Wolford speaking. Uh, from Melbourne, Florida. Moved over here from Tampa, from Orlando, uh, about two and a half years ago. I hear so they have a great strip it. club in Melbourne. Um, which one? Oh, 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 damn, he didn't even say like, <laughs> yeah, we had that one. He well, said it's Monday, which one? so it's going to be, yeah. oh my yeah, God. There, there, there's a few of them. Um, it depends on what you like. What do you um, like? Um, <laughs> bullet holes and stab wounds, oh, baby. Fuck. Dang, see, that's right yeah. in my alley. I that would sounds like my type of Monday night. Get in there. Absolutely. Fuck Monday night football. Yeah, what's, today's Monday, right? <laughs> today's Monday. Fuck We're, this podcast. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, we'll just take your car. We could ride out. He's got a force limit, so it'll be a little easier for us to make it there. That's cool. What is the drive? Melbourne from here is what? Two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Okay. We could do it. So in Melbourne, Florida, you were born and raised? Yes, I was. And where did you spend most of your days? Uh, in Melbourne, Florida. Uh, makes sense because he's yeah. from Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a genius. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I was, I was, I was trying to hit with the the Fresh Prince thing, but it didn't work out. Oh, I was thinking maybe oh. basketball or the I playground. Mean, spend most of my days. I, I, I played a little bit of football. Football, uh, huh? Yeah, I was a three sport athlete in high school, and then went off to uh, UCF and played a little bit of football. So, what is what is three sport? What is that? Three sports. I played three different sports. Uh, Makes sense. I was a uh, football. Again. I did track and field, and uh, shit was uh, oh wrestling. That was actually the one that was the most. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, we can see Joshua Wolford. <laughs> Number two kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> he said football, track and field, and wrestling. Yeah, Joshua, I want to go. To, I want go ahead and give the people um, describe yourself. If you were describing, if you were a pillow, mm-hmm. what would you describe yourself as? Large. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. He yeah. is a king size pillow for sure. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he's probably the body pillow too. Yeah, yeah. He's a large fella. How tall are you? I am six foot three. Jesus Christ, have mercy. And are I you? weigh enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> his his weight it, it's like an unlocked character. You yeah. know, it just shows question marks. Yeah. You know, exactly. you know, you guess. So what did you run? The four hundred? Uh, I don't the, even know if there's three hundred. E- emphasis on the field. I was a field guy. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See how he got yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. I would have had no idea. Yeah. I'm Latino, so I'm very familiar to fields. Yes. I don't know if you guys <laughs> mean, uh, so no, no big deal there. But so, shot put discs. Yeah, shot put discus. Um I was I was slow. So in the big guy relay, that's when they get all the heavy guys and uh it's kinda like a, a circus type of deal because all the, the heavy guys and throwers from all the other schools get together and they watch us run. It, it doesn't count towards the game or, you know, the, the track meet or anything like that. It's kind of like it's we just want to see the big people run. I and, uh, but That's I, the story I was, of my life. Never tried yeah. the pole vaulting? 
No, no, <laughs> God no. When I was a child, I think um, everyone used to hope the ice cream truck would come by just to see my fat ass run. Seriously, yeah. And I wouldn't give him the. I'm not gonna give you the fucking pleasure to see me run. No, no. And I might bust my ass. I'm terrible on my feet, man. <laughs> terrible. But you can sit Indian style. No All day. questions asked. I'm kind of like a Buddha when I sit. That's, that's impressive. It is. Uh, everyone every every time they see me sitting down on the floor. How the fuck do you sit like that? And it's a blessing in disguise, man, because I, I mean, can... It's blessing in disguise because his ankles touch his thighs. Oh. And I'm not kidding. Fact. That's a fact, man. No, he can really... He's very limber. Yeah. Is that bars? That was... Yeah. Oh, Did he, you hear that? Oh, okay. Soft Woo! bars. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he ran out of that. He was like running on right. empty after that, that, man. talent back. When, when, when involved with sports, I know a, a lot of times, um, especially, you know, when you're younger, a lot of fights. Yeah. Um, any in particular that you'd like to go ahead and just lay on us? Um, because everyone likes telling stories about fights. Uh, I, I had a few fights. One, most of them involved my sister. I have an older sister. She's four years older than me. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and we used to get physical. So How physical? Um, like hit fights. her with objects? No, I've tried. I, I've thrown knives. She's very fast. Oh, nice? Yeah. He's a knife yeah. thrower. I was, I was a knife thrower. She's four years older than me, so up until I was about... What, 12, 13? The judge will cut you some slack on that. Yeah, yeah. She, she was... Uh, <laughs> four years older than me. Yeah, she, she was larger than me at the time. So, yeah, I, I had to result to uh, resort to knives being thrown, bats. Um, what was she doing stuff. to you to make you want to throw knives? Um, She used to beat my ass. It, it's pretty simple, you Just know? fed up. I'm tired yeah. of this shit. Yeah. It, well, what she would do, this is a good one. Um, She would jump on me, slap me a few times, and in our house... It was a circle, and I was a chunky kid, so she would run around the circle until uh, I got tired. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Feel I feel so your pain. When I would catch her, it's like, you're going to pay for all mm-hmm. those times that I didn't catch you. I'm going to choke you. So that most of the fights were with her. Um, I did have one in middle school. Um, I was being bullied, uh-huh. and uh, I didn't get bullied anymore. Let's just say. Yeah. That's all we need to say. <laughs> when Okay, so what would you, as far as your fighting technique... Who would you two like compare it to as far in as like combat? Exactly, man. <laughs> Bring it here Jeez. a little bit. That's that's a tough one. Go ahead. It's probably Jax. Oh, oh yeah. All right, all right, yeah, all right. Jax is he throws hands and yeah. there are steel too. So those yeah. are gonna those are gonna fuck you up. Yeah. Who are you? I would say my Mortal Kombat fighting style is that of. Oh, fuck, man. Don't say mine. Don't say mine. I would say Goro. Because I just like to grab you and fuck you up. I'm, I'm not gonna throw hands. I'm gonna grab you and I'm gonna fuck you up with four arms somehow. Okay. I'm gonna you go know? with Raiden. You throw electricity balls? No, I have. I throw my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he throw a hat? He does throw a hat. <laughs> I have a sharp hat. No, Kung Lao throws you a hat. Lids. <laughs> Raiden doesn't throw a hat. He does throw a hat. Kung Lao throws a hat. Kung Lao. That's who I am then. You're not Kung Lao. He's very. He knows a lot of martial arts. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you just killed the whole. God damn it! Here we go. Come here. Come here. <laughs> How do you know? That's a whole nother subject. But I mean, Go back to episode one. Yeah, <laughs> that is. That is. I felt like such a little bitch right there. You just like, I, you insulted Kung Lao, but it, it's neither here nor there. Okay. I mean, question. I, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna hit you guys where it hurts. Joshua Wolford. Yes, sir. You seem like a man who. Uh, doesn't like to be put on the spot, so we're about to hit you with the honesty box. Here we go. Ready? Let's do it. What girly show do you watch? <sighs> honesty box. This is tough. Um, occasionally, mm-hmm. I do watch Love and Hip Hop. <sighs> I, I watch it, and the thing about it is, I hate the show, right. and it bothers me. Yes. But I tune in every Monday. Oh, he's he's loyal. <laughs> <laughs> I tune in every you know Monday. If I miss it, it comes what time does it start? On. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. okay. They, they so usually, you time. No, nah, they usually <laughs> play it like you know back to back to back to back. So I usually just huh, you no key breaks. So you hate no. the show. You hate the show a lot. I, I hate the show because it's like how much God, hate? How much, like show me your anger. How much drama do go. these people have? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It, and it's like it has to be fake. They they do these little segments where oh, I'm staring off into the clouds. That's staged. This yeah. isn't reality yeah. anymore. Yeah. It, yeah. This this is this is a production. You know, you know what I, I want you to do? Serious. I want you to find somebody who you really hate right now mm-hmm. and I just want you to let him have it. 
Just go bend. ahead, man. Just They're probably not even gonna listen to it. So just let them have it. You don't even have to. I work with these people. Oh, fuck I'm it. I'm, I, I, fuck it. Um, we don't even have to say. Don't a name. drop a name. Yeah, okay. give them a nickname if you'd like. Okay. You know, let's let's think of a name. A name of somebody. I think we all have come into a, an agreement that I guess is common in our lives. Let's, let's call him Mr. Shitbox. Let's call him Mr. Shitbox. Mr. Shitbox. Yes. Why? 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 Just tell why, him why. Why are you here? Why? Why are you present in our lives every day uh, and every night just making... I got a better one. Here we go. The kid that you got to fight with, let him have it. 20 years uh, later, you can't move on. Go. Your sister I, I actually, was younger. I actually won, though, so I felt better and I got some street cred. Um, I, I think you're a piece of shit because your life sucks, so you want to make everybody else's life suck. So fuck you. Deep. And that's, it's real simple. Fuck did you, the shit box. In here? They did. They did. A little bit. I mean, it, it, at the end of the day, fuck you, Mr. Shitbox. Exactly. Fuck you and your wife, and I hope your fucking kids die. Oh, yeah, wait, fuck hold on, you. wait, hold on. I'm sorry, I don't wish that on one. <laughs> I don't know who Mr. Shitbox is. My, I'm, I'm such a joyful person that I really don't hate many people. Everybody fuck has you a though, Mr. man. Shitbox, man. Just, just in case, just in case. What, what's a, what's a great day? I want you to describe to me a great day with Joshua Wolford. A great day. Great day. Okay, I wake up at eleven o'clock. Mm, mm. I love that. Um, I have leftover chicken wings from the day before <laughs> for breakfast. breakfast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Um, I don't even want waffles. <laughs> Fuck it. Just give me the chicken wings. Yeah. Straight to it. Yeah. It's, it wake up. I, I roll out of bed. I bathe. I get ready. Knock, knock, knock. Lady friend's at the door. Ooh, hell. Ooh, so, about her. Shit. Yeah. Don't drop any names. Yeah. Just don't let my wife find out. Who's <laughs> you know? your lady friend? It's 11 o'clock. I don't fucking know. <laughs> lady friend comes in. Lady friends leave. It's 11.45. Oh, you said oh, lady friends. Yes. There's multiple. Yeah. Oh, my Ooh, God. Now it's time. a party. And then uh, you get up, play a little video games, uh, and that's it, man. I, I'm, I'm pretty simple. There's, there's not too many things. Uh, there's a couple of football games on. I okay. do enjoy watching football. So it's safe to say that Ice Cube would sponsor that day. He should. I got a question for you. Yes. Um, how? So she stays there for 45 minutes? Yeah. How do you get her to leave? Hmm. Huh? How do you get her to leave? <laughs> he said, what? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? The there lady's goes. friend. Well, Because it, it, let me say this. That's why it's a good day, because she just leaves by herself. Yeah, Perfect. that's right. No one wants a straggler. No one, man. Yeah. Someone that just no sits one. around. Yeah, listen. Yeah. Hey, that's, we're done. Oh, okay, bye. You that's, know what be if no lie, if I was if I was a single man, mm-hmm. right? Oh my god, it was such a good night. Ah, uh, yeah, but you gotta hurry up and leave. Even if I was single, <laughs> why? Because my wife is on her way. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, I'll just hit her with that. Fuck it, you know. And I mean, oh my god, you're such a piece of shit. I'll be a piece of shit while you're leaving me because my wife's on her way. You know, she works the overnight shift. You gotta go. But, but I'll see you next week, right? Yeah. You gotta go. Hey, babe. You know, you gotta tell her. I still got your number. I can still call you, right? Yeah. I'm just such a nice guy. I mean, I don't. You don't want the headaches. Yeah. Fuck that shit. It's gotta go. Pain in the fucking ass, it's man. Gotta go. Yeah, you gotta go. And I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hold the door open for. You either. <laughs> Which bri- okay, I got another question for y'all, and mm-hmm. and this happened. I went to <clears throat> went to a store. Uh, this was a couple of days ago, and I caught myself, and I fucking hate this, and I, and I'm sure you guys have run into it sometimes. How many people before you stop holding the fucking door open? <clears throat> That's a good question. I, um, go ahead. I don't know. I don't really don't hold the door open for people. I, I gotta, <laughs> You're like, a dick. I, You're yeah, a dick. That's what they're calling it these days. Fuck it, old bitch. You hold your own door. I open. give it like a three to four person maximum. Okay. And then after I keep seeing people, I just kind of do the flick. <laughs> And I kind of just hope that the they push. You just yeah. push it. Hopefully, you can figure out not holding this bitch open for you. <laughs> yeah, Joshua. I would say after the first person that doesn't say thank you. Ooh, oh, see, yeah. see that was He's good. Got see, strategy. I'm just an asshole. You got strategy. I open it, you know, if that first person walks by and it's like, oh, uh, uh, and then they just keep walking. How about I this? I get to get the hell on. 15 crippled people are walking in. Do you hold the door for 15 of them? And, and they're crippled? But, but they're assholes. What, what kind of crippled? But they're assholes. Yeah, no, nah, I don't care. They want to be treated old, the same. They're going to be treated crippled the same. assholes. Perfect. They, they want to be treated the same. This is not this, this is not an argument. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck you. You want to be an asshole because you're fucking crippled and angry at the world? Fuck you and your cane, bitch. I got a scenario, though. Go. 15 cripples. Mm-hmm. The first five, really nice. You get to, like, number six. 
He's a real fucking asshole. He's, he's like flicking you birds the whole ride. He's, but then number, he's got to have down syndrome. Number eight is like, wait. And he's holding money and he's all polite oh, and shit. Fuck. And his wife's got big tits and she's hot. What do you do? He's holding tits. He's holding tits. He's holding tits. He's he's holding tits. That's what I said. He's holding, he's holding his, his tits. He, he, he's, he's, holding <laughs> he's holding cash. He's holding cash. He's going to give me the As cash. he's going to give you the cash. Well, then I hold the door for number six, but I'm going to trip his ass. <laughs> I'm going to kick him a little <laughs> Just bit. Just get my point across. <laughs> Bitch. And then when number eight comes, I hold for number eight. Okay. And then that's it. That's He's it. thoughtful. This that's this it. is a fun fact, and this is a true story. And he was there, and I'm glad he was there to because we're talking about old fucks. Yeah, and I hate them. Dick. Um, we went to um our local Zaxby's today, correct? And um, me and him are walking out to our car, and we see this old man with his hood popped up. We both hop in the vehicle, look at each other, just giggling a little bit, saying. We might be on YouTube because we're going to leave this old man with his hood popped up and we're going to be pieces of shit for it. <laughs> Should I get out and help this man with his car? So we debated and we, uh, dude, we How sat there. How long did you debate for? We debated for about. <laughs> Two, three minutes. Yeah, we sat there for a little bit, <laughs> what man. What was the conversation like? The conversation was like, do we do this or do we say, fuck this old man, you know? So uh, guilty conscious, you know, I'm, I'm a nice guy. I finally say, Josh, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to ask this guy. You hang out here. So I get out there and I kid you not, I'm asking the guy, you know, a couple of questions. What's going on? You know, how, 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 what's wrong with the car? You know, and he's like, no, uh, uh it's just, it's just got a misfire. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, do you mind starting the car so I can hear it? He was like, no, I don't want you to hear my car. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, you old piece of shit. Because I took the time out of my fuck. I got out my car to come ask you. You know what? Fuck off. I want wherever you are at, you old piece you of shit. Now, go. The Ford Escape <laughs> that was like a teal color. Tag number 856253. <laughs> Fuck you and your fucking grandchildren. The only license plate in Florida, by the way, all, all numbers. numbers. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> he paid extra for it. <laughs> Sometimes you got you pay extra for like letters so you can spell out like I love BMW or, or some too shit. hot. <laughs> <laughs> or sexy reeking. Like bitch, you're not, you're not even sexy. You're fucking old bitch. It's it it it, it I mean, it's a, it's a fact it happened today and I share the story with them. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, as far as, you know, problems like that, I just, they bother me. Old people who are fucking miserable, they fucking bother me. Yeah. I got a question. So you were a college football player. Yep. Were you recruited heavily in high school? I actually wasn't. I, I walked on. Oh, wow. um, I was stuck in a predicament where small schools thought I was too good to go to their school. And large schools didn't know who the hell I was. The fuck? Oh, are we still venting? We go. I it's just over wanna, now. I, I, I want to say fuck my high school football coach. <laughs> It's piece of shit. Who is he? Um, name him. Fuck I, him. I don't. Dude. I don't want to name him. Fuck him. Lovey Smith. Fuck <laughs> you. You know. He, he, he's a fucking piece of shit. He I has want tons you, of talent. Joshua, make up a name. I want you to say his name. We're gonna call him Miss Shitbox. Nope. Mr. Shitbox. Mr. Shitbox Give, Junior. What's his first name? Uh, Dan. Yeah. Fuck you, Dan. Fuck you, Dan. Yeah. Fuck That's you. A dickhead name. Yeah. Yeah. Whose name I've is Danny? Nice anyways, Dan. I don't want to hear Danny. You know. <laughs> Dan. Dan, I tell you what, Dan, from high school football, no one here likes you. Um, Fuck I, off. I hope you're working at like a Publix or some shit, you know, bagging groceries or something like that, because you did my friend Joshua Wolford very, very wrong. And if you were coming into a store, I would not hold the door for you, so fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to hold the door open for you. Kiss my hands. <laughs> Die. Jo Joshua Wolford tends to get a little nervous. I mean, <laughs> I mean, who cares, you know? Fuck him. Who would, who would you say is... And as, I mean, we're talking about sports. Who is the biggest star in sports ever? Any genre, like yeah. overall, like who's like the the Ooh, who do you think Jordan of all over Michael Jordan over everything over everything? Who makes you not roll out of bed at eleven because you're still thinking about it? Um, I don't know. Excluding swimming, mm -hmm. that's a good question. I don't. Who's yours? My fa my favorite. Okay, let's see. It's got to be Stone Cold Steve Austin. Are we no. so we're talking past? I thought we were talking current. A current. He's well. He's still alive. Fuck it. <laughs> he's still signed with the WWE, and he is the greatest athlete of all time. The greatest athlete of all time. Uh, God, you welcome. I'm going to go Cold. with Bo Jackson as the best athlete Bo of all time. Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. That is a good. That is a good. <laughs> I'll go answer. with Bo Jackson. Yeah, Dick, you did some research. I might Fuck have to you. Agree I was ready. With you. Really? I, I might have to agree with you on that. I mean, he 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 was big as hell. Um, he was fast as shit. He was, and he was strong, and he could do everything. I Deion Sanders, I put him in the. Same That's what I was going to say. Oh, the only time. person I ever played in a World Series mm -hmm. and a Super Bowl. 
I, I give Deion Sanders as well. The fuck you guys got notes from? <laughs> you guys doing research before you ask these questions? I don't know who uh, Primetime is. I didn't even know he went to the World Series. Yep. In yeah. fact, we learned something today. Yeah. Um, too busy eating fucking Zaxby's over there. So um, you were you – were, you, so tell me the journey of walking on. Yeah, walking on sucks ass. I, I will let you know you, you, you have the same exact responsibilities – as the scholarship guys, but you don't have the benefits of being a scholarship guy. So you got to pay for your meals you, and shit? You pay for everything. You pay for some regular-ass student. But I have obligations to be dedicated to football from 6 o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock in the noon, 12 o'clock noon, and then you come back and then you have film study. So you have to deal with all that. You're not allowed to work, um, and you're just trying to get by. Did you ever uh, get the scholarship? I did get the scholarship. Nice. Oh, I was getting ready to lash yeah. out on that. Yeah. 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 The director, I was ready. Yeah. <laughs> it was my what, turn. What would you say was the worst experience you had, like going through that whole deal of trying to make it and get your scholarship? It, it's it's more the mental thing. I mean, the, the physical stuff, you know, you get used to the workouts. Um, you know, you you push yourself and all that stuff. But it's a, it's a mentally, it's tough as shit to sit here and watch somebody who you're better than constantly yeah. get opportunity. Life's about opportunity. politics. I, that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to tell, you know, 18, 19 year old kids how to do politics. Mm -hmm. You don't fucking know. You want to, mm -hmm. I'm better than him, so I should play. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the end of the day, it's all a business. Um, and their mindset is, hey, we're spending money on this guy. They get first dibs mm -hmm. um, until the point where, you know, you, you get some bargaining power. That's what ended up working for me. I was, uh, I had worked my way in to uh, a starting position. Um, what know, position was, for the everyone listening? Nose guard. I was a nose guard. Um, starting position, I was working my way in there, and uh, I got to the point where I was like, look, if I don't get a scholarship, I know I can walk on somewhere else and right. get a scholarship. So Fuck this it. is your opportunity. I'm being up front with you. What, what's your next move? The next month, uh, this was during fall camp. You know, they pull me aside and say, "Hey, we got a scholarship for you." That's why you're a good, great salesman. Yeah, yeah. there you go, man. You have to. You get you get homesick a lot when you were over there. Uh, no, the UCF's nothing but like 45 minutes away from Melbourne, so, so. you can still go back to that strip club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. home. I'm going to the strip club. <laughs> 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 what, what was your What's your favorite holiday and why? Favorite holiday. Uh, Smart choices in life. <laughs> this is easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes, and why? <laughs> yeah, because of the food. <laughs> Oh, um, Thanksgiving's tons of fun. Um, I do like the 4th of July um, because the difference between the two, um, Thanksgiving, you get together, you're, you're thankful, you know, you're, you're it, it's kind of humbling. It's a humbling um, holiday. Um, 4th of July is like, man, fuck it, man. Turn up. Yeah. You know, yeah. drink. You want a barbecue? You want to have yeah, fun? No, no one's really celebrating. Turn up. Sign this declaration. Let's turn up. Yeah. On yeah. the bottom in the fine print, yeah. it says turn up for sure. So so I, I would say Thanksgiving because I think the overall quality of food might be a little higher. Yeah. Um, but 4th yeah. of July is, you know, it's pretty close. I didn't even think about that, man. That's a very good. Yeah. I'm sitting here thinking all the way. <laughs> Thanksgiving <laughs> because there's food involved. But it's like you said, man, 4th of July, you get the best of everything. Yeah. Except for gifts, but fuck it. So what are some of the cliches that you can clear up? Obviously, let me tell you something. I was never a college athlete, mm -hmm. but I was in the theater club. So that's Girl. a hell of a lot different than being a college athlete. Yeah, college, it, it's not fun. <laughs> being a college athlete isn't as fun as everybody thinks it is. Uh -huh. It isn't. So it's, if you walk down the hallway and say, I'm a college football player, do girls throw themselves at you? How does this work? No, no. Um, me, my preference, I'm an African-American male. I tend to like African American women a little more. Right. Um, no, no discrepancy. No, mm -hmm. you know, not it's nothing None. against um, the other races. It's just that what I like, African American women tend to have more often than not. What is that? Um, that's ass. Uh -huh. What was that again? So, that ass. Sometimes you just gotta <laughs> dunk that ass. Oh, oh. oh. yeah. Oh. So I'm, I'm gonna He's been that listening. Uh, that's a hit, and, and we'll play it by the. We'll play it at yeah. the end of our show today. We're gonna play you a song. Uh, it's gonna be released in one of our. We're gonna have a mixtape dropping yeah. soon. It will be the. Key Eastern Too Heavy mixtape. It's gonna be volume one. Um, but Dunk That S is sure yeah. it's, it's it's gonna a, be a hit. It's gonna be a yeah. hit. And Joshua Wolford wanted just to relate that with yeah. with the females he's interested in. And the thing is, and um 
everybody thinks, oh, the college football players, you're getting all the ass, you're getting all the women, you know, so on and so forth. But with the African-American women, it's more of a repellent because they're like, I don't want to be seen as one of the groupies that yeah. you're with. So they don't give you a, a shot. You got to work harder. Oh, damn. So it was the complete opposite of what they think it is. I mean. You never thought, maybe I should just change it up. This is too hard. Yeah, I I, I, <laughs> I did. It, it happened. <laughs> um when you go to uh, the clubs and the bars, that's when it's you know it's pretty easy. Right. You know you can you can pick us out in a group. You know who we are. Right. And uh, you know it's a little easier. But if you want a little more than just you know that that one night thing, you know it's a little oh, tougher. Looking for something special? No, nah, not Aww. special. I, 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 no, I, Ladies, I, this I, is Joshua Wolfhard. I, I, <laughs> I, I didn't like having multiple, you know, women around, but I'd like to have you know. You know, three or four, you know, solid, steady. Damn, he's got better problems yeah, than I do. Hold on, yeah. you said three. <laughs> hey, he's got good problems to have. Jesus. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, there, there were guys that were, you know, had a so different like, girl every So you night. like your woman like I like my tacos. Yeah. Multiple. I, w- I, I would prefer multiple it, tacos. I just don't want one. But uh, it's know? the same ones, though. It's it, you, you know what I'm saying? Certain, certain guys, they, they would have girls and they'll be like, okay, I, I did that. I've accomplished that goal. I'm moving on. And every night, it's different girl, different girl, different See, girl. I feel you, and that's I why. That's to why I have my three to four girls. You know, they're mine. <laughs> Good problem. Shit, you deal with me. My and, goodness, and that's, it, you know? that's why I took salsa dancing lessons when I was younger <laughs> oh, yeah? to try to get the females. And then when someone told me that I was a um, what he called me, um, shit, uh, pussy, um, pussy bitch. That's what he called Vent. me. Yeah. Tell them how you feel. Let me, uh, Carlos Vivas. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not a pussy bitch. <laughs> Only pussy that I bitch is your mom's pussy. <laughs> Fact. Carlos Vivas. I don't know where the fuck I can find you, but I'll fucking kill you. I'm going to hit you with a random question, man. Oh, boy. And I want you to get this right because I am 30 years old, Mr. Keister. 27. How old is yourself, Mr. Wolford? I am 24 years old. This is going to be a hard question for you. Oh, oh, boy. Name all Captain Planet I don't know. elements. Ah, it is Earth, Fire, Wind. Water and uh, shoot, Earth. Did start I say it that? again. Start I, again. I said Go Earth, uh-huh. fire, wind, water. Oh, I think I know it. I don't know if I know it. <laughs> I want to say love or some some. Love? Some, some oh, that's like that. that's kind of close. Seventies version. That's <laughs> <laughs> love and I, weed. It was the remix. <laughs> The hippie version. Was it when? It's 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 heart. You heart. almost had it. You oh, almost had close. it. He was there. I can't believe you almost got that. Close. You're only 24 years old. I'm serious, man. By your old you powers combined, love. I'm yeah. Captain Planet. Shit. Question for you. Yeah. Do you know? Have you ever tried online dating? Uh, I have. Ah, let's hear a story. I have. P- POF. When uh, I first when I first got the temple, I tried it out. Um, and I realized there's a lot of moms on there. <laughs> Which what app? Go ahead. What what was this again? P P O of plenty of fish, and plenty w- of fish. And what was your username? I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you that one. I, I have tried plenty it, of fish. I've never been on the puff. Never been mm-hmm. there, man. That's what I call it short. No big deal. I, I, I when I first got to Tampa, I didn't know anybody. I had mm-hmm. zero friends, and I'm not very sociable to where like I can go out to a bar by myself and make friends that way. So I was just like, hey, why not? I'm on my home. P O F. It's uh, gonna sit on my couch. And look at females who are within the range. Yeah, I don't are in I'm, my area, as they ex- say. Exactly. You know? Any stories? Any meet up with anyone? I have met up Let's with some. I've, I've some. Ooh, I've, oh. I've, I've, I've uh, hooked up with them. You know, we had sex. We did the thing. My man. Um, they tried to do a little more, but I wasn't more meaning. With it. Cut let's, you? Let's what? meet together. Uh, oh, yeah, that's shit. You know, I just think it's not fun anymore. Okay, let, oh, let's, okay. let's, I let's, 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 go ahead, hit, hit your story, because I'm about to go off on somebody. Okay. Oh, do you have a, you want to vent? No, I was just, I was just saying, like, <laughs> woman, man, they're just like, fuck, man, get off my dick, <laughs> you know, shit. Somebody, I mean, I'm married now, so thank God, I mean, I got a great wife, I got a great life. But man, the frustration that I see on my on my friends, you know, yeah. out of women, it's tough, man. It's it, I don't get them. 
I don't fucking get them. This is why men go gay, you know? Because know. you guys are making it impossible. So my boys no, are just, just like, you know? It's tough. I'm going to go partner up with my best friend who's just <laughs> had enough also from his chick and said, let's fucking swordfish this shit because I'm over it, man. I'm fucking over I don't know if that's what I call it. I don't know if that's the correct term. Swords, but swordfish. Swordfish. <laughs> well, because it's a sword that smells like fish. I'm not sure. It's, it doesn't smell it like Badusi. Like it doesn't smell like Badusi. It just smells like fucking dick. Dick and ass. It's dass. That's what it smells like. <laughs> you know, it's, it's terrible, man. It, I get frustrated for my boys and everybody who I know who's a, a single man trying to just live his life yeah. and they make it impossible yeah go ahead and hit us with your story mm. all right and so that's enough i was on have you been on ok cupid i've seen that one i got on that one mm -hmm. so i uh this girl messaged me and we started you know we Bling. exchanged numbers finally we started texting she's sending me pictures of, i'm sending her pictures um we agreed to meet up at saint pete um so we get over I, uh, she said she was gonna meet me at starbucks so she's already there Ooh. or uh, i pull up and then as soon as I walk over to the table where she's at, she smiles. Boom. Missing teeth. Oh, no. <laughs> missing How teeth. many? How many? There was probably three that she had, but then they were as black as your shirt. Uh, and, but okay. uh, the thing was is that when she sent me all the pictures, she had she had it was great. She had her mouth closed. <laughs> she looked. I was like, how is this girl on OK Cupid? Yeah. And then I saw her and I was like, that's why. <laughs> it, was so bad, it went from man. OK Cupid to op OK Toothless <laughs> real fast. <laughs> what was your reaction? What'd you do? My instant thought was like, how do I get out of this? <laughs> you should tell her you're only looking for a woman who can eat apples. <laughs> it was bad, man. Well, how would you react to that, Josh? Uh, Be, you know, you walk in, she's got no teeth. None. Go. And she spotted me? She already sees me? She's oh, smiling. She knows, she's dude. smiling, man. She I waved at everything. You know, and then when she waved, it was no teeth. And yeah. she's waving at you and she's just going, woof, woof. I, I would I would go finish the date with her. Wow. Brandon, you're such a piece that? of shit because I would too. I would finish <laughs> I would, that date I, and I'd be around. I'd stay there for I, a little I, bit. I would finish the date with her and, and seeing what happens. Brandon, did you feed her yeah. applesauce? <laughs> gave her apple slices. <laughs> I had to chew them up before I gave them to her. She got to the core. That's horrible. <laughs> you guys are so fucking bad, man. You guys are just bad, man. No, but the funny part was, uh, and I hope she's listening because this is funny. Fuck you if you're listening. Yeah. Didn't tell me that shit. No teeth and shit. Um, but when she talked, her lip went in between her oh, teeth. Oh no, it touched. And it was like, <laughs> it, like it was like a lip vagina. Uh, That's what it was. The other lips. Oh my God. Oh, it, was bad. it was kind of funny now to look reflect on it. But I was yeah. just, I drove home so like it's a forty five minute drive home. I'm like yeah. God damn, I'm wasting my time. You're such a bitch for doing that to me. Yeah. Like you don't tell me. There's things in life you tell somebody. Yeah. <laughs> teeth are one. Not, you know? Now that he's mentioned it, I, I had me a, a, a situation where... Uh, Go ahead. I, I walked up. She sent these pictures, and I was like, damn, you know, she's fine. I got one. Yeah. Well, I, I did it, man. I, I may Fellas, have check this out. My, you know, one, one of my three for here in Tampa. Yeah. And uh, we met, and, you know, I was sitting there. She walked up to me, and I was like, who the fuck is this? And... Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I just kind of stared at her, and she was like, hey, you know, and I was, oh, hey, and I was like, dear God, how in the hell do you, how, Jesus, take the wheel, are these two separate pictures, like, I know I your sister, what was the issue? She looked nothing like the people. Go ahead. What do you mean? What do you mean she didn't look nothing the like the picture? After? Well, one, she, she was a little lighter. She was what? She was lighter. Oh. The, it, skin tone. She was African American, but in the picture she looked lighter. You like red bones? I I do like red bones. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't Can't think complain. there's I like that. anyone. There, there, there shouldn't be anybody who doesn't like red bones. Red bones are real nice to me. I like um, red bones. I do. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> but but she she walked up and I was like, whoa! I it it was I was so confused the rest of the night, and then I got pissed because. She talked me into meeting her at Olive Garden. Oh, and I was like, "This meal. is way more no. than I'm willing to spend eat the with soup and salad, bitch." Because you're not getting no meal. That's I it. was upset <laughs> because I was like, "Shit, yeah, then, man, fuck." Now I, I gotta leave a tip too. Yeah, what the fuck, fuck man? I, Easily twenty dollars here tonight. It, fuck. It, it was the type of girls like you know we we can kick it, but I don't want to be seen in public with you. Yeah, I don't. That's how I feel about it. my kids, man. <laughs> Yeah, fuck them. You know? I, I, I don't want to pay for your food, right? not on a serious tip, yeah. but the picture made her somebody that I would do that for. Yeah. And it was fucking confusing. I disliked it. Um, let me just uh, set some closure. I do love my kids. Yeah, yeah I would have been pissed <laughs> off too, man. Shit, fuck it, you know? Holy um, shit. I wanted to, uh, we're going to go ahead and take it away. 
we have a segment mm-hmm. we like to call Spell and Tell. All right. You ready? Oh, All right. Shit. All right. So how does it work? It's a quick game. All it is, we give you three words. We spell the words out loud. You read them mentally. Okay? We have three words. No one has successfully passed this game. The pressure is on. Yep. Are right. you ready? I'm probably going to fail. Word number one. D-O-O-R. Door. Mm. Word number two. C A. R R O T. Carrot. Shit. Word number three? Word number three. S M A Y P A L M. Can you spell it again? S M A Y P A L M. That's not a word. What, how do you say it? <laughs> I don't you gotta sound it out. These are all words. <laughs> They're all words. Spell it again? S M A Y P A L M. Say it, man. Good word, man. Try to try to try to break the streak here. You win a prize. S. <laughs> Fact. One more time. One more time. Last and final time. S M A Y P A L M. Smay palms. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Josh Wolford. You did it. The only person that's ever smelled, spelled, smelled, <laughs> smelled, smelled this. First person to spell out the last word, man. You are, you're a winner, man. You did what, it. What do people usually say? You got it. Smay palm. You, Smay palm? Smay palm. You never heard that? No. Come on. It's a word. It's, it's a common dictionary. Word. We it's, use it. Yeah, we've yeah, used no, it. What does it mean again, Isaiah? Uh, it's, it's, I have to use the uh, the, the restroom, but the snake palm is going gonna, is gonna to really hurt, you know? <laughs> It's not a real word. Yeah, we just make that. Their word's it's just never a real word. It. <laughs> and for the fact, everyone's gotten it right every time. <laughs> yeah. I'm so confused. Dude. It's, it, third word's always just a made up word. You just make people smile, sound it out. Um, uh, go ahead and name the the, the previous words. Defret. Uh-huh. Uh huh. What was the other ones? We should write these shit down. Number two was. Um. Wait. Uh, who was the number two? Uh, Mike. Mike. Mike was Jumpkin. Jumpkin. Yeah. Number three. Was, um, who was number three? Number three was. Was it Kiara? No, um, Shane. Yeah. And Shane. Shane's word was. F. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. And who gives a flying fuck? Because at the end of the day, Joshua Wolford is our winner. He won the game, and he's taking home a trip to fucking Disney World. Let's get right. Yeah. And after the recording, we're going to go ahead and edit that out. (laughs) So I got a question for you. Yes, sir. If you could make a new law, what would it be? Hmm. Um, Where did I get this question? Law and Order. asked by Miss Universe. (laughs) To Miss Universe. (laughs) (laughs) To fucking Steve Harvey. (laughs) Uh, you, you can't. What fucking bothers I, I, you that should be legal? W- bothers me that should be legal. That should be or shouldn't? Shouldn't be, be legal. Shouldn't be legal. I, th- I think. Uh, what it, what it, law would you like to be changed? Let's change it to that one. Let's, yeah, let's turn the lights out on this one. You know. Yeah. Let's legalize uh, it. Nap, nap, let's nap, legalize nap. it. Go. What do you mean? Just Cocaine legalize. and heroin. I'll, I'll I mean, go with mine. I I, I feel like mar- marijuana. Mm-hmm. Um. It it doesn't hurt people from what I understand I feel like alcohol probably does a little more damage I would I would I would take I would make alcoholic beverages illegal and I would legalize marijuana See Are what you, you th- fuck it. I, I'm going to disagree. I I drink alcohol. I don't No, so, no so do I, but I mean yeah. if you're going to sit here and tell me that alcohol has more of an effect, you know, and you're going to tell me that marijuana is more dangerous, I beg to differ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, I'd I, I probably go with that one. Yeah, I'd do, I'd, I'd do both, you know. Fuck it. Let's drink and smoke. Let's smoke weed every day. Let's do it. Fact. And what would you have one? I do, man. I would legalize. It doesn't have to be legalized. It could be anything. Oh, anything. Anything your little heart thing. desires. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Um, do you want me to go while you think? Yeah, go, go, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, and you're going to side with me on this one. I, I think s- every fucking body huh. would. Okay. Daycare should be free. The government, shake your hand. the government should fucking... Yes. Agreed. Fact. Yeah. 
I agree, agree. man. I agree. It's bullshit. It's, VPK for everyone. <laughs> all the time. It's expensive yep. as fuck, man. I'm paying like twelve hundred dollars a month on daycare. Shit. Yeah, bullshit. that's crazy, man. And and my kid can talk. He, it's not like you're helping a little retard. It's my not like son, I wouldn't open the door for him. <laughs> my son knows how to wipe his own ass. You know, he knows how to do all the big kids shit. Granted, my baby, yeah, you gotta wipe her ass, but that's you're charging me twelve hundred dollars to put on some fucking video things and let my son sit there and watch fucking Spanish channel all day <laughs> because he's at Spanish daycare. Yeah. What kind of bullshit is that? Yeah. Fuck the government. Mm -hmm. Fuck aid and all that shit. Go vent. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something, government. Fuck you and fuck your fucking rules. And that's why I break them anyways. The feds want to come get me? You know where I'm at, 3501. I don't give a fuck. Wayne. Fuck the police. I don't know. I have nothing against the police. I, I love the officers of the law, actually. Never gotten a ticket. Actually, when they pull me over, I get away with it a lot. Just make a laugh. This guy's pretty funny. I'm going to, you know what? You have a great day. Merry Christmas. <laughs> can I pull you over more often? Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is that guy Rez again. Let's pull him over and see if we can get a joke. <laughs> I mean, that's a fun fact. I mean, I think everybody agrees with that, though, man. I mean, when it comes to fucking daycare, the shit's outrageous, man. You know? And then marijuana, too. Yeah. So out of the three to four girls that you have on your team right now, is what we call I, it. I don't on have your one. team. I actually have a girlfriend now. Oh, I, I, know. Know I wish, I, wish I did. I can reflect back though. Okay. If you want to keep answering. Team Wolford. No. It, does your is she gonna listen to this? No. What girls made it to the Pro Bowl for Team Wolford? Yeah. <laughs> one. One. So Oh, no, I can't ask you what you're going to get You can her. ask me. This, you know, oh. this is going to be delayed anyway after Christmas. That's true. What are you getting her for Christmas? I, I bought her um, a necklace with some earrings. I feel like that was the uh, easy way out. <laughs> easy way out. <laughs> Shopping for women is not It's terrible. Whatsoever. It really is, man. If, if you, you buy something, oh, yeah, this made me think of you. I, I feel like automatically they think, oh, they can calculate how much you fucking spent. Mm-hmm. With That's what necklace. they look for, man. Yeah, they'll fucking Google that shit. What's the part number on this? And she'll fucking look it up. Fuck Are you. you fucking kidding me? You with piece the, of shit. With the necklace, it, it's. I feel like it's hard because you don't know where I got it from. Yeah, I got it from you can't trust. You can't get her the wrong size. Yeah. Oh, I'm fat, huh? Oh, I'm so much slack. <laughs> or even like I bought it off a guy on the street, and he, yeah, yeah, he upcharged me, but I paid fucking more than fucking retail price. Exactly, you and know? I know it's more than what she's gonna buy me, so we're good. I bought my wife a vacuum. <laughs> Did you? No, I didn't buy a vacuum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. Vacuum that floor. What'd you buy your your lady? What lady? Oh. To all the ladies ah. that didn't want me. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, oh this is the burnage. What'd, what'd you buy your daughter? Oh, I bought her all kinds of shit. Oh, we, we met Santa on Saturday. Okay. What now? Does, is there anything in particular that you were supposed to get her? Like, did she ask for anything? Hell no. I really? get her everything all the time. I just bought her shoes. Fuck it. I know? pay for that daycare. Fuck you, government. Yeah, man. <laughs> Fuck them. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little excited. My son, um, we got him this Baymax from Big Hero 6, big ass action figure thing, robot that makes a noise. It's huge. And um, I got him the Spider-Man helicopter he wanted. And then I was very disappointed to find out my daughter. And I'm going to vent and I'm going to talk shit about my daughter. She's seven years old, but <laughs> goddamn. Um, I didn't tell you this, but I'm going to let you know now. My daughter went... Under the Christmas tree and apparently grabbed, we, she asked for, out of all fucking things, um, a cat, a kitty cat, a fur real friend kitty cat. She asked for, like, children's makeup, and then she asked for slime and more slime. Like, the fucking goose shit, right? My wife went to go take her to her mom's house, long story short. She found her, like, she had the sweater, like, balled up. Asking her, why do you have that sweater? What was in the sweater? We checked the sweater, and it was one of the little slimes that we bought her. It was under the tree wrapped. <laughs> this little fucker had the fucking thing, and she was going to take it. She didn't even unwrap it and put it back. The heifer took it, and she fucking kept it and thought it was no problem. And then she has the fucking balls to say, my friend from school gave it to me. <laughs> oh, really? Fuck your little friend. I'm going to find him, and I'm going to fucking kill him. Vent. Yeah. You know what? Little, this, is what I, this is exactly what I did. Open all your fucking presents now. <laughs> Put them in this motherfucking bag. We're taking them to your cousin because your cousins are having a fucking great Christmas. You ain't getting shit. You know what your Christmas gift is? You're going to sit down and watch your little brother open all his fucking great ass gifts. Your face is turning red. <laughs> I was Fuck. Passionate. I felt betrayed. 
my offspring to trade me. It ain't oh, even like, it, it, you know what? I, I can honestly say, like, my son tells me, Daddy, I'm gay. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you open the presents on before Christmas? <laughs> Death. I'm going to stone your ass. I'm not looking forward to that. My daughter's two. She just walks around and shits. That's what, well, and, and my, that's, that's what my baby does. The baby girl does it. My son. My son's reaction was fantastic because, like, he was like, whoa, I didn't do shit, <laughs> you know? So I made him open one present in front of her, and she's crying and bawling her eyes out. And my son's just like, Yit-ta-dee. like, I'm going to fucking open it. I'm so happy go lucky. I'm going to open this gift. And, I'm, and he was so impressed with it. And it was, like, one of the weaker gifts. And he didn't give a flying fuck, so he was all excited about it. But, you know, my, it, 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 I didn't even know what to do. You know, as a as a parent, I mean, I have three kids, yeah, but I've never had that experience to how, you know, something like that would happen. I didn't know how to react to it. Mm. So, I mean, I feel like I didn't handle it great, but until that happens to you, you can't really judge someone because when that day comes, I love Christmas. Yeah. Don't fuck with Christmas. I, 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 I take my hat off to all the parents because... Uh, I just know I'm not ready yet. Shout out to all the parents. I don't think any of us was ready. Yeah. No one. Ready for that plus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it Lay it on me, girl. You know, I don't give a flying fuck. I'm not ready. I, I can honestly say I'm not mature enough to, you know, really give, you know, all my attention to a child. Like, my, my kids will be all jacked up if I have one right now. It would be pretty bad. So, does your lady do a lot of cooking? No, it, and it, it bothers me, but I, I will give her credit because she, she said she tries to cook now because she wants to cook for me. What's her specialty dish? Um, I don't think she has one. <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't have one. It, it's that like hits me right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I feel your pain, Josh. It's, it's like she's throwing it out there and she's just waiting until she cooks that one thing. And I'm like, hey. I like the hill. So now she's just going that. through all the mistakes. Yeah. yeah. My, my wife is not the... the <laughs> she's that... God bless her little heart, man. I love you so much, Betty. Um, God bless her little heart, man. And and when she cooks, man, she'll get home and she'll be tired as fuck. And, and, and she works too, Ben, and, and she just holds the house down. But there was there was a point in time where she went making spaghetti, right? And oh. and I made the mistake telling her it was it was very good spaghetti. I had spaghetti for a week and a half. <laughs> she made spaghetti every night, didn't she? <laughs> Betty, you don't think it's time to change? You don't like my spaghetti? No, I mean I'm it, I mean yeah, your Betty spaghetti is fantastic. I get it, you know. But goddamn, I want something else, man. I'm fucking having nightmares of spaghetti string men chasing me through a fucking hallway. You know, shit, they look like little slender mans, you know. I feel like I'm I'm happy because she actually pays attention to my reaction to when I eat her food. So she because, just stares at you when you take a bite. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's good. The pressure's on. It, it, it's good because as as a man and your woman, I, I feel like you can't tell your woman this shit sucks. Yeah, you can't like you can't. I, I feel like you can't do it. You, it it's a jab. <laughs> That they won't recover from, they won't ever want to cook again because they're fucking horrible at it. But you have to say something like, "Oh, it's pretty good." Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not bad. look at you. Why is words from Joshua Wolford? You know, and and you say these things, but she always can tell. Like, I'll take a bite, and she'll look, and I'll be like, "Why are you chewing like that?" I'll Joshua, like, I want you to repeat what you just said about what you don't ever tell a woman. You you can't tell her that it's bad. Why? Be, because it it'll. It'll kill her inside, you know. It, You're going to open up Pandora's fun. box, that's why. It, that's it. <laughs> don't do it. That's it. You that's, don't want to do it. Everything's great. She looks fine. Yeah. She Dude. smells good. <laughs> Is that new? Oh, my God. Did you do your hair today? What the yeah. fuck? It's, no, it, I haven't even touched my well, hair. Your armpits look smooth today. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 your feet look smaller. What the fuck? <laughs> not, not <to laughs> Is that, mention, that a compliment? I mean, they, they do weird shit anyway. Yeah. Like, my girl, she, she works at night. Mm-hmm. So she has a tendency of watching me in my sleep. I personally don't like that shit. Wait, don't ever break up. I've seen that, I, I've seen that on Snapped. That's I personally don't like that shit. In a dark corner. I feel very vulnerable knowing okay, that hold on. Wait, somebody let's, can look at me. Let's let's say this back a little bit. Weird. She does what? She watches me in my sleep. Define I, watches. Yeah, yeah. Give I us a visual. It, like, give us a... Okay. Oh, everybody can get a clear picture of what I, she does. I'm, I'm naturally fucked up because I can't sleep with somebody in the bed, period. I've been like this for years. Okay. Okay. Bad but, experience? No, we'll talk not, about that not, later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but when I... Sometimes, you know, I can nod off a little bit mm-hmm. and then wake back up. Well, from time to time, when I take that nod, 
And I open my eyes. There's a pair of eyes looking at me. Ooh. It's kind of mm-hmm. weird, but she's smiling, and I feel like she's smiling to put me at ease because she knows it bothers me. That shit doesn't help. Is she holding a knife? <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it makes me feel vulnerable because if I'm asleep, she can fuck me up in my sleep. Like, I can be done yeah, She can take a pillow to your face, so, man. So, it's just it's something I, like, I, I felt like I wasn't the only person that that shit happens to. But now I know that she's not allowed to stay the night anymore. <laughs> you are off the list. <laughs> no longer are you allowed to my house to sleep. You know, sleeping. I'm I'm 100% sure I'm not the only one mm-hmm. and we all probably have different reactions. Who here wakes up falling off a cliff and damn near shakes the bed to fucking hell? I I've, I've done, done it a couple of times. What is that? What the fuck is that? It's bullshit. We you know? I don't know. I catch myself. Like, oh shit. Oh. Yeah, like fuck is an earthquake? No, it's I, just me fucking sleeping. I've had one with a baseball. Okay. A baseball coming at I'm, you. I'm, I don't know why I'm playing baseball. I've never played before in my life. Mm-hmm. But the baseball right before it hits me in the face, I wake up Damn. I have had the falling thing though. It's happened. It's, you don't know how to. Re- you feel like a fucking idiot. You know, you're just like, oh shit, oh, oh, no one's watching. Yeah. I'll go back to sleep now. I you have know? this weird thing. I I don't I don't want to call it a moan, but it's like a grunt. I grunt in my sleep and it'll wake me up. <laughs> what does it sound like? <laughs> it's just like uh, it, I'll sit there and, just, and, and then it, 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 it'll scare the shit out of me, and I think there's something in the room with me. So and I'll wake you yourself. Up. It's, yeah. just, it's just Wolfram. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and here's the thing. I used to do it in class. I'll be sleeping. I want you to give us a sample one more time. <laughs> just, just something ah, that yes. subtle. And it's yeah. like, it sounds loud oh, as shit to it me because it's me doing it, but I don't necessarily oh, know it's me doing it. So I wake up, I jump up, and everybody's fucking looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> like you're crazy, right? And I don't know if it's because I jumped so hard or the noise itself. Fun for yeah. everybody. But it's, that's always a fun noise to do. Yeah. I, I caught myself, I was sitting on a recliner one time and I was so tired and I'm, I'm on the recliner and I, I don't know what it's, what it's from, but this happened the first time I'm laying on the recliner and I guess I'm uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. So I, I nod off and I'm gone. Right. And then all of a sudden I wake up and I fucking, I instantly like grab my fucking bat because I wake up to a, oh, it was myself. I just woke myself up. I was like, what the fuck was that? It's fucking scary. I look around and I'm like, what the fuck was that shit? There's a dinosaur in this fucking house, you know? And it come to find out it was just me. I fucking woke myself up with a, I guess it was snoring or a short of breath. Maybe I had a heart attack, brain aneurysm, one of those two. I mean, I don't know what the fuck it was till this day. You know, I had like the people come in, cleanse the house. I used you know, to have spirits. night terrors. What are those? Right. Honesty box. You had what? Night night terrors. What are those? Just wake up screaming. Oh, me too. Really? I, I never. Oh, it's had not those. just me. I never. Really? Never. Yeah, that's way too. The scary. worst yeah. part is when you do it when you're at someone's house and you wake up a whole <laughs> fucking family. I've, I've never had that at somebody else's <laughs> no, but house. The, the, the worst part is like when you do it. And then everybody comes out to check on you, and then somehow you gotta go back to sleep knowing that. It, and then you gotta look at them the next morning. Yeah. Like, you want breakfast? Bitch. <laughs> Screen boy? You want a little hug boy? <laughs> <laughs> what were you, what was like your night terrors of? It was, uh, it was of this car, like a car race. It was like chasing me or some shit. It was weird. What the oh, fuck? And it was like yeah. a, a Chevy. I'm thinking we were gonna say like a, a Halloween movie yeah, or some I, shit. I, nah, bro, it was weird. I thought Freddy Krueger was great. Freddy, Fre- dude, Freddy Krueger was my night terrors. He messed oh me up. Oh my, I couldn't sleep, man. First time I watched the movie, it was the first one. Mm-hmm. And you remember the guy? He gets his ass ate on the couch. Oh yeah, I had to sleep yeah. on the couch. Did not sleep. That day. Oh. I was nine years there old. Goes my fantasy. In fact, when I'm, I'm so terrified of Freddy Krueger that when I would sleep, I would lay my body throughout the whole bed because mm-hmm. in the scene where the lady's sleeping and the night his scissors come up and go across the bed, so I make sure all the bed is occupied so you can't put your scissors up. And if I, I'll feel it, you know. Yeah. And, I'm, and then I'm scared that the bed's gonna swallow me. I'm like, what the fuck? He's got all fucking base is covered I'm fucked I'm gonna sleep on the floor now since we're talking about fears let me talk about mine go is anybody scared that when you're taking a shit that something's like gonna crawl oh, up the pipe I always feel like something's yeah, gonna grab, yeah, grab my dick yeah, and yank yeah. me like it's in Space Jam when he's playing golf a snake or some <laughs> shit you're scared yeah, a snake, a snake, snake is gonna me. come up and eat my asshole yeah. <laughs> like a rat just come up yeah. and take a little nibble off yeah. my pee hole dude I'd be so I'd be so scared you know? I, I really fear that. And there's been, I, I remember there's, there's stories of snakes crawling up the fucking sewage pipe. Yeah, no big I deal. I found a, a picture of it. It was like a, a eight foot python that they pulled out of a fucking toilet. And it God. fucked me up, man. Oh, hell no. It fucked me up. See, I always leave a little cushion. I scoop my ass to the back and I leave a little enough because I peek. 
periodically. <laughs> Four minutes. Yep, that piss looks healthy. <laughs> <laughs> More water could do, but I'm fine. Well, you got a floater. <laughs> <laughs> I never peek. I just, I just rock and roll. Let's get it done, and I'm out. There's confidence right there well, in your sewage system. Well, no, you, you know what? I, I, t- dude, when I use a restroom, I take a long time. I do too. That's yeah. you know I'm I, I well I'm I, I'm a father I don't know a lot of people my, well because you want time oh, yeah, that's no, your I space know, it, you know my wife is always like why do you take so long in the fucking bathroom because I don't have to deal with you or the kids yeah, that's why Betty it. Ray is Been there. you know I grab my phone I sit there and, I, and I'll go through Facebook and 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 just reminisce about life yeah you know. How I really wish I could have become a professional wrestler. I you think know? it's the cell phones that do it, to be honest. Yeah, that's just true. Wrestling name. If you want, if you were going to become a wrestler one Oof. day, fulfill the dream. I know you have it. What would your oh name my be? God, my name. God damn. And describe the outfit and the move. Okay, so as a professional wrestler, I would have a lot of tassels and face paint. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a big fan of the face paint and tassels. I would definitely have long hair. Um, my entrance song, I already have that, will be Alice in Change, uh, uh, Man in the Box. It's a good song. Um, and I will come out, and my name would probably, fuck. When I was, was not, when I was young, I used to think about it a lot, but now it's kind of like a blank deal because those, those dreams are dead and gone. <laughs> I will never be a professional wrestler. <laughs> it's hard to say, but it's hard true. to say. I don't remember, man. When I was when I was when I was younger, I had my friend. Um, uh, uh, shout out to Mr. Robert Dixon. Robert Dixon. <laughs> Robert Dixon, man. Me and him, we were obsessed with wrestling, and we swear we were the Dudley Boys. He was black. I was I was I was almost white, you know. <laughs> so we swore we were the Dudley Boys. We used to make like fake championship belts and all that stuff, and we swore up and down we were them. And I never really came up with a character just because. I swore that we were the Dudley Boys so hard, you know? <laughs> so it was just, uh, I never got to it. I what mean, would your outfit consist of? My outfit's just going to be, I, I'm 100% sticking with... Um, Same body type you have now? Body type, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have, um, it's almost going to be like the shiny pants, but that are kind of look like Jinkos. <laughs> They're going to be some loose pants. They're not going to be no tight shit, you know? <laughs> some of those. and then Like my, Aladdin pants? Kind of like that, you know? Mm-hmm. I'll, I'm going to kind of go for like a, fuck, just some loose sweatpants, but they don't have the, the, the tight fit at the bottom. They're going to be loose. So mm-hmm. I'll have black boots. And um, then my, my shirt is probably just going to be like one of those fucking uh, singlets. Yeah, because I'm I'm overweight, but I mean I I feel a little confident in the singlet. You know, let it loose and let the boys loose. Yeah. No big deal if I get a little bit of jingle. You know, mine would be. Uh, see, I'm I'm going to be more of a storyteller guy. Yeah. Go. You know, I don't I don't want to be the fucking classic hero and everybody chants my name. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. What do you want? Uh, I'd like to be inbred Ted. Inbred. I would love <laughs> you to take a seat. <laughs> I want to. I want to hear this. <laughs> no, inbred Ted. I mean, I would like to. I'd like to have a mullet. I would like to have. Uh, I. I would even go as far as I would punch my own tooth out to play the character. Um, jean shorts. I mean, the typical hillbilly. Yeah. But then bring out a girl that I say is my sister, and we just make out before every match. <laughs> oh my god! Wouldn't you love that? That would be part of the Attitude Era for sure. <laughs> <laughs> then that was PG, so you couldn't pull anything like that. Yeah, out yeah, now. we'd have to hold hands and I don't know. Joshua Whatever Wolford, PG. don't you come lie to me. You say your daddy used to watch a lot of wrestling. He did. He did. Uh, anything, even if you don't have the whole deal. Any ideas? My name would probably be Big Savage. Big Savage. He thought about it. What yeah. the fuck? I didn't even think about it. Big Shit. Savage. That, that would be my name. Big uh, Savage. I would come out dressed in all black. Mm-hmm. Black tank top, black shorts, black shoes. You going sure. for like a bodyguard look? Yeah. Okay. And not the movie with Whitney Houston. No, no, not that guy. <laughs> not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the guy's name that was in the fucking movie? The uh, Whoever plays Kevin Costner. The what, right? Kevin, yeah. Costner yeah. Kevin Costner, yeah. What would be your song? Um, oh, That's a good one. Uh, here I go. Uh, uh, who, who, I, I, we were just singing the song. Here, here I go. Here I go again on oh, my own. No, not that one. Oh, oh, damn. Uh, that would have been a good one, though. <laughs> Mystical. <laughs> oh, okay. Mystical. Okay, I can't be mad at that. Okay. Here I go. We need to be singing that song. Go stop. Yeah, all right. We yeah. all sang different mystical songs. <laughs> yeah. All that. Uh, that uh, okay, that's I'll, what I would do. I would, I would, I'll take that. And that's I a hype song. Paint. That is. And face paint? Yeah, Everybody some, has face some paint. Some kind of design, though, like yeah. all black. Mm-hmm. Just crazy. I hear you. Shit. Yeah. 
You didn't even say your fucking theme song, you cheater. I don't know if I had. What, what would my theme song be? I'm thinking Kid Rock. <laughs> Something. <laughs> <laughs> Something by him. That works. Ball with the ball, the bang, the bang. <laughs> what is this guy's name? His name is Ball with the ball, the bang, the bang. Name. I don't even know what the fucking name of the song. I can't even pronounce the name to that song. I think it's Ball with the Ball. If I'm not Maybe. mistaken, I have no you know, idea. or ball with the ball. It sounds like a pissed off sheep. <laughs> ah, with the body, bang, bang. That was dumb. That was dumb. I take that. Back. <laughs> well, I, I was gonna edit it out, but I'll leave that there. Just leave that shit in. You can drown in your own <laughs> sorrow. <laughs> Remember the ball with the ball joke? <laughs> that was great, right? <laughs> oh man. Well, I mean, uh, we want to go ahead and uh, thank Mr. Joshua Wolford um, for your time. You know, if you wanted to go ahead and. Uh, Give anyone out there your uh, social media information so they can follow if you'd like. You don't have to. I mean, this is something we just push in case you want more followers. Um, For your position, you could get more followers, more hey, money. I, I'm, yeah, customers. I'm actually not that big in social media. Neither are we. I, I do have a Twitter that I never use. Go. Um, oh, I, I'm trying to think of the name of it. That's how Big I, Savage? I, it's not Big Savage. <laughs> it's not Big Savage. It's uh, Ronald Isley Jr., that's what I put it in there. Damn, is it's that your kind of weird? No. Hey, pr- 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 <laughs> we got one more time. We got a story about that. <laughs> who the hell is, is, is that? You, you don't know who Ronald Isley is? Yes, I do know who. You I know, know who he is. Know. But why? Because he Ronald Isley, he used to like he could talk a woman out of her drawers. You guys can find me at R. Kelly, <laughs> the real R. Kelly. You can backslash pee pee. In between the sheets, you, you remember that song? All those soft women songs. Those he made I, a lot yeah, of good songs. I, he did. I, I I really enjoyed those. And I said, you know what? I want to be your son because it has to come in the bloodline. So contagious. Exactly. Touch me, oh, I know that That's song. a good song. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. He he used to do that a lot. No. So I think you look up Ronald Osley Jr. It should come up. And how about a. The Facebook. Uh, Facebook, I think it's Josh Michaels. It's not even my real name. Okay. You guys yeah. can find him at Sean Michaels on Facebook. <laughs> 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 again, thank you once again. Um, for myself, Too Heavy. And Keister. Josh Wolford. We bid you farewell. I hope you had a good time. Because he's brown. He's white. I'm not going to bet the plea. For you to come back to me. Um, where can I find you at? Find us on SoundCloud, IG, Facebook, Podbean, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.